Hello, hi, how are you? My name is Bailey from East End Children's Center and today I'm here to do a craft with you. Yeah, I'm here to do a craft with you. And I'm going to do a very special craft with you because the craft is on a very specific person. So it's about a person who made something for us. Someone who invented something for us. Do you know what the word invented means? Invented means they made something for the first time. So I have a friend named Frederick McKinley Jones, who was a black inventor a long, long time ago, who helped invent something very important, something that we use every day. Can you guess what it is? Hmm. I might give you a couple hints. Hmm. What will my first hint be? Okay. My first hint is it's cold. Frederick Jones invented something that was cold, but it was a good thing that it was cold. It's supposed to be cold. It's cold. Hmm. Cold. What's cold? Did he invent ice? No. No, he didn't invent ice. Ice invented itself. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. So it's cold. That was my first clue. And my second clue is it has a door. That's a pretty good clue. It has a door. Hmm. Something that's cold and something that has a door. Okay. I'm going to give you one more hint. It's cold, it has a door, and you put stuff in it. You put stuff in it. So if you open the door and put stuff in it and it's cold, what could it be? What could it be? Remember, it's very important and we use it all the time. Yeah, it's a refrigerator. It's a fridge. It's that thing that we put food inside of to keep nice and cool so it doesn't go bad so that we can wait longer to eat it so we don't have to throw away our food. So yeah, this is a really important invention and without it, we wouldn't have as much food. So it's really great that Frederick Jones made this refrigerator for us. So I thought today we would make our own refrigerator. What does that mean? Hmm, how do we make our own refrigerator? Well, I thought it would be really cool if we made our own refrigerator out of just two pieces of paper. Just two pieces of paper. Yeah. And so for this craft, you might need a little bit of help from a parent or a guardian or a caretaker. Okay? So you might need a little bit of help. And that's okay. So today you're going to need two pieces of paper, some crayons, and a stapler. So this is the part that you're going to need help with. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with my piece of paper. And this is how we make the door to the fridge. But before we start, what is the most important part of the fridge? That it opens. And we need it to open like a door. So we are going to staple these parts together so our fridge can open like a door. Yeah. So this is where you want to get gonna sorry this is where you're going to want to get help from a parent, a guardian, or a caretaker and then they can staple the paper for you. So you're gonna want to Make sure that they line up and you don't want it to go long ways because that's not how a fridge opens, right? A fridge opens when it's tall and you open it from the side. So you want to get your stapler and you want your caretaker to staple. One, staple two, and staple three. Thank you, caretaker. Very kind of you to help. So now I can 
it's in my fridge and it's door and it's not going to come apart as long as I do it gently so I don't rip it. So what part of the fridge would this be if this is the front? What part of the fridge would the front be? It would be the door of the fridge. And what does a door have? Hmm. How do you open a door? Do you say magic sesame and then it just opens? No. How do you open a door? With your hands and with a handle. So there needs to be something on the door that helps you open it. So I'm going to draw my handle. So this is something that is important. The side that you have your staples on, that is not the side that opens. So you want to have your handle on the other side. So the side that you have your staples on, don't put your handle on that side, but put it on the other side. Hmm, I think I'm gonna use the color black for my handle. And so for my handle, I'm just going to make a little handle just right there. Yeah, that's my handle. Make it easy to grab. So you can you can take your finger, pinch it, and open it in your make-believe fridge. Take your finger, pinch it, and open it. Yeah. So that's my handle. But it looks kind of boring. I think I want to make this a fun fridge. So I think I'm going to give it a smiley face. I think I'm going to draw on my fridge. And you can draw on your fridge however you like. So I'm going to give it a little smiley face. What are you going to put on your fridge door? Are you going to draw a butterfly or are you going to draw, are you going to draw food on the outside maybe? Are you just going to scribble on it? I'm curious to see. This is my happy fridge and it's so excited for you to open it and take your food. So we're going to move on and do the inside of the fridge, but you can always go back after and continue to decorate your fridge. Yeah, so let's open our happy little fridge here. So we're going to open the door, open the door, and to make it easier to stay open, we are going to Press that down so it doesn't keep closing on us. Press that down. And just for me, I'm going to curl that over just for now. So now, this is the inside of our fridge. Yeah, this is the inside of our fridge. So on the inside of a fridge, what do we normally find? Yeah, we find our food, the things that we eat. But our food isn't just floating in there, is it? Is it just floating in the air? No. So what do we need to draw first? What is in a, sh in a, in a fridge? Yeah, we have shelves and things that the food sits on. So we're going to take our crayon and draw lines as our shelves. So I'm going to draw three lines. One, or two lines, sorry. Two. So now we have three different places that our food could go. And now here's the really exciting part. You can draw your food. So I'm gonna draw a couple things and you can draw your own food too. So what food should we put in our fridge? What should we put in our fridge? Hmm, let's see. I really like the food broccoli. It's a really good vegetable and it makes your body feel so nice. So what color is broccoli? Do you know what color broccoli is? Yeah, it's green. Hmm, where am I going to put my broccoli? I can put it anywhere. I can put it anywhere I like. I think I'm going to put it right on top. So I'm going to make my broccoli curly whirly. Curly whirly because that's what broccoli looks like. Curly whirly broccoli and they have a little stem. They kind of look like a little green tree. That's my curly whirly broccoli. Nice. So what did you draw? You didn't have to draw broccoli. 
Maybe you did draw broccoli. Then we would be the same. And even what did you draw if you didn't draw broccoli? I'm curious to see. Okay, what food will I draw next? You should think in your brain, what is my favorite food? You can draw your favorite food there. Hmm. Now I have to think, what's my favorite food? I love chicken. I love a chicken bone. Or not a bone. <laughs> I love a chicken wing. Yeah, so I am going to draw a chicken wing, not a chicken bone. So I'm going to take my brown crayon and draw a chicken wing. So I go up and then down and then make it kind of skinny and then there you go. That is kind of what a chicken wing looks like. It doesn't need to be perfect and I'm going to color it in brown. Kind of looks like a fishy. <laughs> kind of looks like a brown fish. That's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. That's my chicken wing. Nice. Okay. What other kind of food will you find in a fridge? What other kind of food? Hmm, what's in my fridge? I know. I have milk in my fridge. I have milk. Hmm, and what color is milk? Yeah, it's white. And this paper is already white. So I think I'm going to get my black crayon because we know that it's white, but we need it to show up. So I'm going to draw my milk carton, which is a cardboard box that you put your milk in. I'm going to draw the ball. And sometimes milk cartons, so that's my straight line. Sometimes milk cartons have a little triangle at the top. Yeah. Sometimes that's what milk cartons look like. I'm going to connect them, and I'm going to write the word milk. So we know what it is. It says milk. Nice. So now we have broccoli, chicken, milk. What else do I find in my, in my fridge? I know. You can crack it, and you can scramble it, and you can flip it. What is it? Yeah, it's an egg. It's an egg. I'm just going to draw an egg. And if you eat eggs, you should draw along with me. Just a little egg right there. He's so cute. Hmm. What should be next? Hmm. Let's do a fruit. We haven't drawn a fruit yet. We drew a vegetable, which was the broccoli. We drew a meat, which was the chicken. We drew dairy, which was the milk. And we drew an egg. Let's draw a fruit. Hmm, what fruit would I like to draw? Oh my goodness, I know what fruit I want to draw. I'll give you a hint. It's the color orange. That was a pretty big hint. It's the color orange. Yeah, it's an orange. It has the same name as its color. So I think I'm going to draw an orange right in the middle here. And it's a circle. So I'm just going to draw an orange circle. Yeah, and I'm going to color it in. Because the whole thing is orange. Wow, it's my orange circle. Do you like my orange? Nice. Okay, I'm going to draw one more thing. What else do I have in my fridge? You can ask yourself, hmm, what do I have in my fridge? And you can draw that. So if you have pickles, you can draw pickles. Or if you have, hmm, if you have ice cream, you can draw ice cream. But you know what? Ice cream actually goes in the freezer. But if you have cake, you could draw cake. All I know is I have bread in my fridge. Some people keep bread in the fridge and some people don't. I keep bread in my fridge sometimes. So I'm going to draw a little piece of bread. A little piece of bread. 
right there at the bottom. He also kind of looks like a mushroom a little bit. A little piece of bread. And I'm going to color him in. I'm going to color him brown because I eat a lot of brown bread. Because there's white bread and brown bread and bread with a lot of seeds in it and bread that's really grainy. There's lots and lots of different kinds of bread. What kinds of bread do you eat at home? Because lots of different kinds of families eat lots of different kinds of bread. And lots of different kinds of families eat lots of different kinds of foods. This is just the kind of food that I have in my fridge. What kind of food do you have in your fridge? Yeah, you should talk with your parent or guardian or caretaker and look in your fridge and take a look at all the different kinds of foods you have in there because your fridge might look a lot different than my fridge. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's close the door and we'll see the finished product of our fridge. Okay, so this is the door and now we're going to take the handle and open the fridge door and see all our food that is inside the fridge. Isn't that exciting? Oh, well, thank you so much for drawing a fridge with me and talking about our inventor friend, Frederick Jones. And he is the whole reason we have these awesome inventions. So thank you, Frederick Jones, for the refrigerator and keeping our, our food nice and healthy for us. Okay, well, I hope I get to draw with you very soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.